I want to talk about bulkresizephotos.com. It is my website to go to if I want to compress and convert images into WebP. Now, some of you are going to say WebP, well, it doesn't work on all devices. It works on the majority of them. And I say to everyone, get off the fence and get on with WebP, especially if you have a WordPress website and you want to hit the next generation standard for your page speed performance bulksresizephotos.com. It is free to use. I cannot, I cannot express my amazement at just amazing this website is. We're going to show off this image here that is 1.2 megabytes in size. Okay, this is 1.2 megabytes in size. And I am now going to put this into bulksresizephotos.com, compress and convert it, and then stick it into my website. And I'm going to show you a comparison of the quality of the image and the size with this version and the version that bulk resize pump out. So this is 1.2 megabytes in size. You don't want to know specifics. It's 1,800 by about 1,000 and a bit pixel, just slightly smaller, but then 1,920 but it's about the size you would normally do for an image for a full banner or full width. We're gonna stick this image now into bulkresizephotos.com. You can click choose images and pick it from your folder or you can drag them in. I dragged 120 images into here uh, not so long ago and it was lightning fast. I was shocked. I could drag that many in in one go, not like other websites where it's 20 at any one time. So let's drag in our image. I'm gonna drop it in there. And this is where you now get to pick your sizing. I'm going to leave it at 100%. If you've got a super big image, this is 4,000 pixels in size, you probably do want to scale it to be 50%. It doesn't need to be that big, especially if you've got like these massive like 50 megabyte cameras or something. I always pick WebP, okay? PNGs are bigger than JPEG. JPEGs are bigger than WebP, all right? And Tons of devices are happy with WebP. If your um, phone or your computer doesn't handle it, change your browser, update your software, whatever like that. But WebP is the way to go. I'm going to leave the image quality at 80%. You might think, well, I don't want 80. I want 100%. 80% is totally, totally fine. Let's now hit start. Look how quick that was. I mean, that has now downloaded it to my folder as well. And the size has gone from 1.2 megabytes to 112 kilobytes. 112. I mean, it's less than 10% of what it was before. And like I said, it downloaded it to my folder. So rather than me having to click download, it's already done it for me. Remember when I said 120 images? It downloaded it for me without me having to even think about it. This is super, super good. Let's now go over to a WordPress website, Elemental. That's what I'm using as a page builder. And I'm now going to stick in both images. Let me show you them in the WordPress media library. Here's the old image, 1.2. I know it says one megabyte, but it's 1.2. And here's the copied version after it's gone through bulk resize photos. And that is only 110 or 112 kilobytes. Let's now stick them in. Let's put in the original image first. I'm going to stick it in. I'm going to make it center center. We will leave it as a fixed. I'm going to go with a no repeat, and you don't need to know this. This is just me now messing around. I'm just going to go with a cover image like that. Let me now duplicate this section. So I have the original and I have the new version. But the second version, I'm now going to go in and I'm going to pick the copied image. I know it looks like they're both like the same, but that's just the way Elemental works. I'm going to pick the copied image. So right now I have image one. And I have image two. For those of you that doubt me and think I'm messing around here, let me just put in a line here and let's give it a color of like orange just to separate them out. So look right now. Can you see any difference in the quality of those images? Come on, be honest. The top image above the orange line is the original 1.2 megabyte. The one below is one tenth. It's less than 10% of the original size. Can you see any difference? I mean, look, just look at the wording there. Can you really see any drop in quality from what we're doing there? What about my face? Look at that. My wonderful teeth. I mean, come on, look. And I've picked an image that's got a little bit of detail inside of it. So you can either have a 1.2 megabyte image or two megabytes or three megabytes on your website. And you got five of them. Well, that's now 15 megabytes. Or you can condense them down to 15, 10% of the size. This can make a big difference on your page speed performance, okay? And I strongly recommend that you use bulkresizephotos.com. It's free. It's easy. It's simple. I love it. So should you. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag.